In this video, I'm going to cover Live Dimension. In order to find the Live Dimension tools, you come over to the Live Capture ribbon, and Live Dimension is right here in the Tools group. Now, Live Dimension is an interesting tool because it essentially will create the geometry and the dimensions all at once, right? So if I go ahead and probe a plane and I probe another, in theory, parallel plane, it will automatically create a linear dimension and just assume that the first uh, plane is going to be the direction of the measurement and it measure to the center of the second plane. Um, and the same thing goes, uh, it infers a lot of things um, with your dimensions along the way. And you can always go back and change those things later if you want to add those add more dimensions or make changes to them. So live dimension is a really neat tool because it's both creating the live geometry and the dimension all at once. Now you can go ahead and create uh, geometry ahead of time and then use live dimension to probe select those things and then add more dimensions, which we'll do here today. Now, before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and go over to Live Align because I currently don't have any alignment with my part on the table here. So I'm going to go to Live Align. I'm just going to do that interactive method again because it's pretty fast. I'm going to tell it that that is the Z axis plus. I'm going to make that the x-axis plus plane. Let me just make that a plane and hit OK. Now I can go into, straight from Live Align, I can go into Live Dimension. So again, Live Dimension is going to allow me to just start probing things and make dimensions between them. So I'm going to go ahead Point. and start probing the sphere. The sphere. Cone. And I slipped off. So if I hold the back button, sphere. Um I can remove that last point. Cone. Sphere. Now if I hit back, it's going to measure the radius of that sphere. Point. Plane. Sphere. Cone. Sphere. Linear dimension. And it's going to create a linear dimension between those two spheres. But you see it's on an angle. If I only wanted it to be in X direction, I can go ahead and change that after the fact. Uh, another thing that you can do is, like I talked about before, is I can probe select. So if I just touch the, the plane, plane and touch that sphere, sphere, linear dimension, it'll make a linear dimension between those two things, right? Um, so this is the general idea. I can create plane, plane, point, plane, sphere, cylinder, angular dimension. Um, same thing with because I had that uh, plane selected over there. If I want to create a just a brand point, new dimension, plane. there's a plane. Point, plane, angular dimension. You'll see it infers that there should be an angular dimension between those two things. So it might not always infer what you want. It's going to infer the most basic type of dimension. But again, it's very easy to go back and add more dimensions or make changes to these dimensions that exist, right? So if I go ahead and get out of this command, um, I can change the geometry type if I need to of the last object, or I can come in here and exit. Now, I'll do the same thing that I've done in other videos where I select all of the features here in the uh, constructed geometries tree, right click on their um, tags, and then switch it to basic so it hides all of the tags there. Now I can see those dimensions. Now you see that one linear dimension those two spheres are at different heights and are at a weird angle. That might not be a dimension that really makes sense to capture. So you can come over and just double click on it. And I can say, align this to the X axis. So I'm measuring from this sphere to that sphere only in the X axis and measure that way. 
right? So you can make changes to these. Now, another thing in that same dialog, if I want to measure the high point to the high point, the highest point of that sphere to the highest of the other, I can create that dimension as well. You can just change it. And then again, it makes sense that you could just come back and create dimensions and just add them here. So if I needed to um, add a radial dimension to this cylinder, I can do that. Um, if I need to make a angular measurement between this plane and that plane, which were the ones that actually I selected linear, so I'm going to get out of there. Angular dimension. So those were two planes that were used to create my alignment. So if I want to dimension those, I can. And like we did before, you can create constructions on here. So if I select these guys and I say I want to create a vector, I can create a vector that is between those two. If I create, take that vector and the top plane and I select the point, I could create a point there, and then I can measure to and from that point. So you can just create all kinds of constructions and dimensions afterwards. So you don't always have to collect everything. As long as you have all the building blocks inside of uh, Live Dimension, you can create the rest of the um, dimensions that you want. So this is Live Dimension.